It is difficult to not be captivated by Ronaldo Luis Nazario de Lima. He did so many things so brilliantly. His business acumen, he rewrote the history in his time. And if he was, <laughs> if he was at his heyday today with the Twitters and the Facebook and the way the media, the metabolism has sped up today, he'd be an even bigger star if that's possible. Indoor five-a-side or futsal, as it's known in Brazil, was his first love. His roller coaster journey to the top of world football began here in Bento Ribeiro, a working-class suburb of Rio de Janeiro. Ronaldo was born here in September 1976 and was rarely seen without a ball at his feet. In December 1992, I said, we've sent a boy to Cruzeiro, who's going to be Brazil's next striker. He'll play in the 98 World Cup. They asked the name, and I said, Ronaldo. He was signed to play for Cruzeiro's youth team, but it was instantly obvious that Ronaldo had the talent to step up to the senior team. The first time I saw him play was at Cruzeiro. He was still a kid. It was in a game where he ended up scoring five goals. And from that point on, he showed he was truly a phenomenon in the way he moved on the pitch and the way he scored goals. The boy from Bento Ribeiro had gone from Sao Cristóvão's youth team to world champion in European football in under two years. The Brazilian super talent, Ronaldo Luiz Nazario de Lima. just seen what the hell has this guy just done the pure ability of Ronaldo was 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 just something else I and mean, you look at his goal scoring record he scored 34 goals that year um, he was scoring goals on his own game after game he was just frighteningly good it was almost like he was too good for the league Ronaldo Luis Nazario Galima a striker touched with genius truly a phenomenon What I saw Ronaldo do in that first year at Inter, well, I've never seen anyone do that before. He did incredible things with the ball, at such speed, incredible. And while everyone else played their part, he was the icing on the cake. He made the difference. To watch Ronaldo was pure football. How he stopped the ball, how he ran, how he changed direction. Certainly when Ronaldo went one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, you knew what was going to happen. Voted World Player of the Year in 1996 and 97, Ronaldo was the first megastar of football's modern era. He was ready to explode for Brazil at the 98 World Cup Finals.
1998 World Cup was all about Ronaldo. Brazil was simply lost without his inspiration. He was given only a 50% chance of playing football again. example I've ever seen of an athlete making an incredible comeback against all the odds. I think he's a phenomenon. He's the finest example of someone battling against the odds that I've ever seen. Ever. For this boy to do what he did after everything he went through is incredible. All eyes were on Brazil's number nine as he prepared to face Germany in the final. The real Ronaldo never came back. Obviously, he was still a great player and still so inventive, but he wasn't the same. We saw Ronaldo return from injury, score two goals in a World Cup final, become a top scorer in that tournament, break records. I think it was so important, a great moment of joy, not just for Ronaldo, but for Brazilian football. Crowned World Footballer of the Year for a record third time, Ronaldo was hot property once again. After five years at Inter, he decided on a new challenge, becoming the latest Galactico at Real Madrid. Ronaldo inside the penalty area! Oh, what a goal from arguably the world's best striker! Well, you can have organisation, you can have tactics, you can have players at the top of the game, but there's no account of a genius. That man's a genius. In 2006, Ronaldo played in his fourth World Cup Finals. You can just see it, how someone's different to other players. Someone like Kaká doesn't have it. He's a great player, but he doesn't have that streak of genius, something that sets him apart. You know, we look at these videos and we've seen them so many times now that, that it seems natural, but at the time, no one, people hadn't seen people move like him and did things that see, it seemed like hadn't been done before. He was just the superstar, the biggest ever, ever, ever. It's also a level of fame, Emil, that I don't think anyone ha has ever had before. Just that talent, this talent like that is only once in, in history. He changed history. He was still the greatest who ever lived. The greatest that's probably ever known. I think it's worth remembering that he was the greatest the world has ever seen. Ronaldo servito sul centro destra, ancora Ronaldo, punto l'avversario, Ronaldo, tiro di sinistro, di Rani, il gol, il gol, il gol, il Ronaldo, 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 This time the world saw the real Ronaldo. 